Okay, so I have decided that I am going to start videotaping uh, my weight loss journey. So today I'm in Ashland. It is December 22nd. Yeah, 2021. Uh, I took Isabella to the doctor, which is my niece, and I gave her and her mother uh, the food to go to Chinese. Now, if you, if you know me, I absolutely love Chinese food. It is my favorite. And I can eat, neat, 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 neat. So, in preparation of today, because I've been on a diet, I brought chicken salad and crackers. So, while we're in there enjoying Chinese food, I am sitting in the car eating chicken salad. And I feel very proud of myself. Because it's one small step in the right direction. So, I'm going to enjoy my food. And I will video again. Bye. I'm not usually one to... Uh, put myself out there or uh, take videos of myself or uh, really be in the spotlight in any situation but today I decided I was going to start videotaping the profound moments and the struggles and the journey of weight loss uh, this is my second video uh, and I had had a thought today that I really wanted to, like, uh, put into a video to, so I don't forget it. So I didn't realize that weight loss is a lot of mental. Like, it's more really mental than it is physical. Like, you can physically go through the motions of eating this and eating that and physically do the exercise and, you know, like, do what you're supposed to do. But... In order for it to be long term, you have to change your way of thinking. And I didn't realize that I had such an addiction to food. Like, literally, I just eat because I like to eat. I eat because I'm an emotional eater. I food the 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 profound thought that I had today was food doesn't judge me. Food is always there for me. So, like, when I'm angry, I eat. And it comforts me. And when I'm sad, I eat. And it comforts me. Uh, when I just feel like eating, I go to Chinese buffet and eat 10 plates. Because I just want to eat. So, I have to change my way of thinking. And today, I made a small step in the right direction. Uh, so, and I really felt good about it. And then I watched, my sister watched the video because I told her what I'd done. And when she was watching it, I was listening to myself and I just started bawling. Like, I'm changing, I'm doing good. And I was just so proud of myself. And it just, I don't know, it just really made me feel good. So, uh, I am about a month and a half into this journey. I have lost about... 14 pounds so far my goal weight is 220 pounds uh i am trying to find or i'm i'm trying to get the gastric sleeve bypass surgery uh and if i go through all the hoops and stuff i should be able to get it in march so like this phase of it is just uh trying to learn portion size trying to get enough um protein and you know eat enough for the weight loss and implement an exercise routine uh so that's kind of what i'm i'm doing and uh today i kind of feel a little bit under the weather my throat's kind of scratchy and my throat's kind of sore uh but overall i feel pretty good and uh, i'm excited Okay, so today is the second day of videoing. Uh, I found out this morning that I have COVID. I went 
to earlier today and got a uh, infusion of antibodies. And I'm feeling a little bit better already. Uh, haven't really ate much today. I haven't exercised today. And I probably won't because it's already like late and I'm just tired and I don't even feel like doing it. But uh, I had a I had a phone call today from a lady I found on a website, and she uh, is offering to uh, coach me health wise for a month. Uh, one one forty five minute call a week, and then I can text her or whatever if I have questions. Um, and I really am thankful to this girl, uh, that she is doing this for free, uh, to celebrate, uh, her, uh, accomplishments in her business. Um, so we talked today and, uh, she gave me some assignments to do at home, uh, and, uh, I'm really excited about it and, uh. Yeah, so, okay, so today is Christmas Eve. Um, I have been deathly sick for the last two days. Uh, I found out I had COVID, then I went and got an infusion. Uh, and today I feel a lot better. Uh, haven't really ate anything the last couple of days, and I had dialysis last night. I hadn't had dialysis in three nights because when I went... To get the infusion, they told me I had to wait at least 24 hours before I could dialyze again. So, uh, I did dialysis last night. Took a 6.8 kilos of fluid off. And uh, today I feel pretty good. I got on the scale and I have lost uh, 20 pounds total since I started early November. I weighed uh, 286 this morning. Really proud of myself. I'm uh, making changes and going to be a healthier me. And I can't wait to for a year from now when I am 80, 90 pounds lighter and living my best life. Uh, so I'm going to get ready to fix me some breakfast here in a little bit. And uh, maybe do some housework. Just kind of take it easy today and do what I can do and see what the day unfolds. Okay, so I wanted to do a video and talk about my struggle with food. <clears throat> I've always been an eater. Uh, my dad, he always cooked a smorgasbord of food and we were expected to eat what he put on our plate. So, you know, all my life we have grown up on meat and taters and uh, vegetables and just fried pork chops and biscuits and gravy and omelets and all this big mounds of food you know and he would feed us and expect us to eat what he put on our plates and then we got fat and then when we got fat you know he would mentally uh abuse us you know i never realized that that's really what it was when he would tell us that we were fat and we were nasty and we were lazy and nobody was ever going to love us because we were big and nasty and you know we were just um i don't know it was just a cycle that he didn't know how to get out of you know i realized you know <coughs> <coughs> excuse me sorry i know that he can only teach us what he knows and, you know, my dad was a good dad. He loved us. He just didn't know how to show it. And he didn't know that the things that he was saying to us was going to last into adulthood and cause us many, many problems. So, I just kind of wanted to talk a little bit about my struggle with, like, self-esteem and my struggle with my uh, body image. I have never liked the way that I look. I have been six foot three, 300 pounds since I was 12 years old. And with that brought a lot of turmoil because kids are vicious. When you're in school, kids are absolutely vicious. They make fun of you. They call you fat and this. And you know, when everybody around you says that you're fat and you're nasty and you're ugly and you know, you 
Well, I know I personally took it to heart and thought that I was worthless and thought that I was ugly and thought that, you know, I was never going to be anything because, you know, all these people told me that I wasn't. So, you know, in this weight loss journey, I have realized that I am not going to let food define me anymore. I am not going to be, I am not my weight, okay? I am a good person. I am nice and kind and I love people and I would help anybody, you know, and I love people, you know, I'm not like a touchy feely type of person, you know, I just, I don't like people up on me, but, you know, I do like to help people, you know, and I am beautiful. I am beautiful. And, you know, when I realized and looked in the mirror and said to myself, you are beautiful, it just resonated. And I just was like, you are beautiful. And in my own way, in my own I am beautiful. God made me the way he made me for a reason. Now, up until now, I'm 36 years old. Up until now, I have made absolutely the wrong decisions. I have let my diabetes go and go and go until I took all of my toes, took my kidneys. Now I'm on dialysis and it takes up a big part of my life. And I'm sick a lot. So the main reason that I wanted to go on a weight loss journey and lose weight and get healthy is so that I can get a kidney and get off of dialysis. So I have realistic goals, I think. Um, I'm going to give myself a year or so to lose weight. Once I get down to a weight that the kidney transplant center says that I can have the kidney transplant that I'm going to get on the list. And then I'm going to try to find a live donor so that it won't take, you know, years and years. And I can get a kidney and start living my life the way that I want to live my life. You know, be able to go outside and work in a garden and not, like, bend over and try to pass out. You know, or be able to go run and play with my nieces and nephews and not wear out in five seconds. Or be able to walk to the end of the yard and feed my chickens and not be out of breath and dying by the time I get back. I just, I want to be healthy. You know, it's not about being skinny and sexy and this and that. I want to be healthy. Like, I take a buku of medications. You see this? This is my medicine box. Okay? I take all kinds of medicines for high blood pressure, for uh, dialysis, for uh, sugar, for PTH hormone, for uh, an autoimmune disease, for thyroid problems, and all of these problems that I think if I was to lose a substantial amount of weight, I would get better and I wouldn't have to take all of that medication. So I'm just, I'm excited about what the future holds and I am positive and I'm, I'm ready for a change and I am changing and it's good. So I haven't recorded a video in a few days. Uh, I was very sick with the COVID, went through Christmas, did pretty good eating. Uh, today I started a juice fast to cleanse my body. Uh, just juiced up some carrots and uh, apples and cabbage uh, and blueberries and I'm drinking it throughout the day just to kind of keep myself from wanting to eat uh, so I'm gonna see if I can lose 15 pounds in two weeks uh, after I do this for about four or five days, I'm going to do nothing but water for at least three days. And then I'm going to do, um, assess what's going on with me with my medication and stuff and, you know, see where I'm at and what I'm doing. So. Hello, I have decided to do a juice fast. I started it yesterday, but I didn't really 
have uh, what I needed for uh, the juice cleanse. So I just kind of juiced what I had. And I drank the juice all day. And last night, uh, I really had a bad episode. Like, I puked everywhere. I wasn't at myself. And I just, I really, it made me sick. So today, I decided that I was, because I've watched uh, a lot of videos on what to put in fruit juices, or not fruit juices, but in, you know, your juicer to make juices, how much to drink, the what's good to put with what, because like, basically I had apples, cabbage, uh, cucumbers, or not cucumbers, uh, carrots. Uh, that's basically what was in my juice. So today I went to Walmart and I'm so proud of myself. Usually I get a cart and I ride around Walmart and, uh, you know, it's, it's very emotional because like, you know, people look at you like, you know, you're just fat and lazy. You know, they don't realize that I ain't got no toes, that I'm on dialysis, that I have a lot of health problems, you know, because that is my reality. So I'm going to turn the camera around and this is what I got today for my juicing. So I'm going to put some different uh, things together. I mean, I got uh, over here, I've got some turnip greens and nap cabbage, celery, ginger, cucumbers. What's this? Mustard greens, beets, apples, uh, parsley, lemons. Oh, I already said beets, bell peppers, cabbage. This is uh, cilantro. This is um, Italian parsley, cucumbers, bok choy, and this is curly mustard greens. Do I got two curly mustard? Yeah, so I'll take one of these out. But anyways, uh, this is what I got. So I'm going to juice just enough for two days. So I'm going to just add a little bit of stuff of each, you know, just make some different uh, recipes and see how it goes. And I'm going to document my progress. Uh, and just yesterday, I lost three pounds, which is, you know, it's not a lot, but, you know, that's good. I, I assume that it's just water weight, you know, because I retain a lot of water because of the dialysis. But you know, since March of last year, I have lost 70 pounds, 74 pounds, because I weighed 359 in March. I was in the hospital for uh, a pericardial effusion. I had fluid around my heart, and they had to put a drain in, and it was a big deal. So anyways, I was 356 pounds. Yesterday, well, this morning, I got on the scale, and I was 280 six so what is that 70 yeah 70 74 pounds so i'm excited i'm excited about the lifestyle change you know i don't feel like i'm gonna die right now because i went shopping usually shopping days are horrible because it's so much work but i have been being more active and trying to do better with my food and i'm on the track to success Monday, I am going to go get a gym membership, and me and my sister is going to start working out for 30 to 45 minutes every day, Monday through Saturday. We might start out Monday through Friday until we, our bodies get used to it, and then add Saturday later, and then, like, work ourselves up to maybe an hour, hour and a half of exercise to see, you know, what we can tolerate, how we can, you know, meet our goals. So, I will video again. Hello again. Uh, I wanted to come back on here after I got all the vegetables separated into the different, um, the shakes that I'm going to make, how I'm going to juice them with everything. Uh, this is one, this is two, three, four, five, and six. So all of them are different. Uh, there's an herbal one, there's just a green one, there's everything, like all the colors, there's some with ginger, some with lemon, carrots, like all the stuff that I named or showed you on the freezer a while ago. So I'm going to juice all this stuff up 
Uh, I'm hoping that it will fill those mason jars. I've got them cleaned and ready to go. So I'm going to get the lids in a minute and wash and dry them. And then I'm going to start juicing. Look at all that veg. I'm about to be healthy. Oh, yeah. Okay, so bye for now. Once I get done, I'm going to come back on here again and give you an update. Thanks. I'm back two hours later. Like, I did not expect that it was going to take that long. And something else I did is that each of my recipes was going to make way more than one juice. So I'm not sure how it's going to last. I uh, put it in these jars. You know, you see I've got uh, six different recipes. I've got colored juice, green juice recipe number three, green juice with green ginger. Uh, so I have three different uh, green juice. Then I have one that's like really herbal. It's got cilantro and parsley and uh, Italian parsley and lemon. Uh, and then I have just a little bit of everything that I put in these ones. So some of these are looking very interesting because it's separating. You know, they're, the greens are a little bit different. You know, they're in color and texture. Uh, but some of them, these, these two have the beet in them. That's why they're red. So... Uh, I, I'm going to try them. So I'm going to record me trying each one of them. So this is the everything one. Maybe I should shake it a little bit to get it you know, good and mixed up. But. That's pretty good. This one is herb. That one's got, the beet makes that one like really dirt tasting, but I can drink it. Ooh, I really like that one. That's the herb. Mm. So this is green recipe number one. And all it is is like lettuce and celery and all the green stuff that I had over there. Cucumbers and just everything green. It's kind of plain, kind of like drinking lettuce. This one is the green recipe with ginger. I like ginger. Ginger is a good antioxidant. So Ooh, I like that one. The ginger is a little, I probably put a little bit too much ginger in it, but it's actually pretty good. I like it. And this is green recipe number three. Mmm, that's pretty good. It just tastes like cucumber. Now we're going to do the colored juice. This has like bell pepper and red and green apples and uh, carrots, celery, lettuce, kale, um, beets, it's got everything in it. Oh, I like that one. Mm, that one's probably my favorite. I like this one the best. So, this is my, I'm going to do four meals a day. So it's one, two, three, four days of juicing. So I'm going to start this tomorrow. I'm going to get all my jars in the fridge. And I wanted to kind of show you what was left over after I used the stuff. You see there's still quite a bit of produce that... I can still use for more shakes so I don't know if I want to freeze this stuff and then you know makes you make it 
let it thaw out and redo it or what, but I'm just going to put it in the fridge, see how long it lasts. This will be four days. Maybe this will be the next two or three days. I'm not really digging the beets, but they're really good for you, and they've got, like, a lot of healing properties in them, so, you know, don't, I'm not a doctor. You know, this is my own weight loss journey. I am trying to figure out what works best for me and maybe share it and help somebody else. So, like, I'm not responsible for, you know, whatever you do. You're your own person. I'm just recording my weight loss journey because I think my story would really help somebody. So, me and my honey went to Subway for dinner and I got a protein bowl. Honey got a sandwich. Flat but we're bread. making, yes, you're by six inch flat bread. He's making healthy choices too. Okay, so I wanted to come on here and make a video uh, that I'm, I've been uh, making videos and putting them in like mo short movies on my phone so that I can keep up with it. And I've been watching them. Like, you know, I'll watch the first one and I'll, you know, so I'm kind of watching, you know, my journey and you know keeping the stuff that I'm learning fresh in my mind so uh there was a, a video of us going to subway I wanted to kind of make a clarification my body was not tolerating the juice uh so I decided right before I uh, started the tofu or started to add the tofu uh, that I was going to do like one actual meal. So we was like, well, let's go to Subway because we had to do some errands and stuff. So we went to Subway and I usually get a 12 inch chicken or yeah, chicken teriyaki with like a bunch of veg on it and the sweet sauce and the chips and a pop. So I got the protein bowl and a water and I only ate about, I'm going to say a cup of that bowl and I was done. And then I gave the rest of that bowl to my sister so that it didn't go to waste. Uh, so I just wanted to kind of come in here and put a video like in between, you know, after that video so that, you know, you could see what was going on because it was a little confusing to me. So then I was like, well, people ain't going to understand. And I was like, okay, so I'll do another video. So that's all I wanted to say. I'll video again. So I'm so excited. I wanted to make a video. My honey and I went to Walmart so that I could get a lunchbox so I could pack my lunch for when I go to the doctor and go out and stuff that I'm not, you know, stopping for fast food. So I got a lunchbox and he found... A ninja juicer for 80 bucks it's like 30 30 dollars cheaper and it's like really the one I wanted I have been using this one when here is all the pieces that it takes so and I had to juice and rejuice the juice so this is a this other one is um, a cold press, so you know it's way better juice, and you get more juice because I had like I said I had to juice and then rejuice. So I'm kind of hoping it comes with some like recipes and stuff. So all right, that's all I wanted to uh, share. Okay, so I got the juicer and I've taken it out of the box. And I have put all of the stuff here on the counter. I'm going to turn the camera around. And this is what's come with it. This is what it looks like put together. And it did come with some recipes. I'm excited to try some of those. Um, but it come with three different... See the big holes there? And the finer holes... And then the very finest holes is right there inside of that. So this, you put the juice in, or the, the fruit or veg in here, comes down, kind of augers it through here, and then it comes out and into this, this little container. 
And then this little container is where the juice is caught. And what I like about this, see this little lid, or not lid, but it's just a little thing that closes off the juice. I don't know if you can see up in there, but that is open so the juice can flow. And if your thing gets full, all you got to do is shut it. I really like that. So, I used it yet. Uh, so, because I still have the juice that I had because oh my goodness and I wanted to say those juices after they sit in the fridge for I think today's like three or four days that it's been a three maybe three days Whew, I could not I could not stomach those after about two days like oh I'm trying to but like some of them are really really strong so what I need to do with my recipes is simplify them uh, I think I'm adding too many different flavors, and then so then it's like when it sits in the fridge, they get like stronger, like the flavors intensify. So then it's like, but I did drink them. So, uh, yeah. But I'm gonna I'm gonna get some fruit because I have a lot more veg vegetables, and I didn't get a whole lot of fruit. The only fruit that I used was the apples. So I'm going to get some pineapple, some oranges, some grapefruit, and there was one other one that I wanted to get. Berries. Like, I have blueberries, but I want to get blackberries and raspberries. So what I'm going to do is uh, do, you know, I'm going to try today to do just a water just water like it'll be water electrolyte water and coffee so i'm gonna have coffee for breakfast then do some electrolyte water and in between just drink water so i'm gonna try to do that as long as i can i mean this is a process i'm learning as i'm going along and i'm taking you guys with me so that well you'll be after the fact but anyways so that i can Maybe help somebody and give them some hope that, you know, through God, all things are possible. You know, I, I couldn't do this if Jesus wasn't helping me. So, I'm not trying to push my beliefs on anybody. I, that's just my personal belief. I love Jesus. And I just, I'm just really excited and really happy about what's changing and what's going to be different and how my life is going to be and two months and six months and a year and 10 years from now, like I'll actually be here in 10 years. The good Lord's willing and holds, but you know, tarries and the world's still going on. I'll, you know, I hope to be here in 10 years. So I'll make another video. I just got off dialysis and I'm going to weigh myself to see where I'm at. And I wanted to videotape it. The first time I'm going to weigh in kilos, then I'll change the scale, and then I'll weigh in pounds. So, turn that on around. One twenty nine six. So. One eighty-five three. Okay, so I wanted to come on here again uh, and do a video uh, kind of about my dialysis so that it kind of um, kind of let you know what it is to go through. So this is all my supplies for the dialysis. This is, you know, all the needles. Uh, and I'll take one of these needles out and show you. It's a 15 gauge needle. I'm gonna go in my room so you can also see my uh, see my ow. 
analysis. So this is the dialysis machine. I got my sharps container, my bottle of alcohol. That's the heparin pump, the light. This is the machine. This is dialysate. This is the cartridge in here. You know, it's got all these tubes. Uh, this is the dialyzer. This is what cleans my blood. And then it goes out in the drain line. So I'm going to open this needle and show you. This is what it looks like. See if I can focus on it. No, maybe against my skin. I'm going to put two of those needles in my arm every other night. I'm going to put that in the sharp container. Mm. Then I'm going to show you. You can't really see my access because it's. I just got done with dialysis. and uh, But this is, this is where my fistula is. That's where I put the needles in, those two spots. I'll uh, come back on here later and uh, show you actually what my fistula looks like. It's very gnarly looking. It's, it's like humped up and ugly, but it saves my life. So I'm cool with it. So I'll video again. Okay, so I wanted to come back and make a video. As you know, I am doing the juice cleanse. So my body, I think I'm shocking my body a little too much by just going from food to like just juice. So Yesterday I made all of the juices. Today is the first day that I am doing just the juice. Or, well, not the first day, but the, the second batch of juice, I guess. Uh, so, my body's not handling the going straight from food to nothing but juice. Like, I'm having a lot of issues. Uh, so... I decided that I'm going to try to do plant-based protein. So like tofu or uh, maybe some lentils, but there's a lot of carbs. So I'm going to try to find something that is just protein, but it's not animal protein. So uh, maybe some nuts. Uh, I'm not sure yet, but the first recipe that I wanted to try was with tofu. So I had a box of tofu in my fridge and I decided to do two different recipes. So, so I'm going to turn the camera on. These are the two different recipes. The first one has all of this stuff. So garlic, mustard, onion, pepper, salt, cilantro, parsley. All of that stuff. And the second one only has this ranch seasoning. So if you look at it, there's really not a whole lot of stuff in it. So just use it as flavoring. It doesn't add any calories. So I just covered it all in that. Tossed it around a little bit so I didn't break it up too bad. And then I did the same thing with all the other stuff over there. So I'm going to bake it at 400. Kind of flip it. Just kind of keep an eye on it until it's uh, my desired crunchiness or doneness or whatever. And when I go to taste test, I'm going to come back on here and videotape and say what I like or don't like. Or if it's something that I could incorporate every day or, you know, at least two or three times a week to do like a good plant-based protein while I am doing the juice fast. Do this for, you know, so many days and then take the plant-based protein back out and see if my body, body can tolerate just the juice again. So, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so it took about 30 minutes for the tofu to cook. Uh, it's smelling pretty good. I'm anxious to... So this is what it made. This I just kind of kept fluffing it around until it got all good and toasty. So I'm going to... This is the ranch one. Mmm. Well, 
I'm kind of surprised. That's actually really good. So this one, it'll come into focus. Mm, maybe not. But anyways, maybe it'll come into focus like this. This, ooh, it's hot. Mm. Mm. That's actually good. I like that. So I like the ranch one better. It seems to have like more flavor. The other one, maybe I need to like add more seasoning or like more garlic or something or uh, maybe do one with a dry seasoning and do one with a wet, but I like these. I'm going to put them in these little four ounce containers and that's going to be one time a day I'm going to eat that much because my body is not tolerating juice. So I need to work up to like just the juice fast. So I'll video again. Okay, so I wanted to come back on here and do another video. Uh, it's New Year's Eve, or I mean, it's New Year's Day, but I wanted to talk about New Year's Eve. So we went to a girlfriend's of mine house. Uh, you know, we're both Christians and, you know, we didn't want to be around the drinking. So we're like, well, we'll just go to your mom. Or she was like, we'll just go to my mom's, play board games and bring in the new year and so, because church was shut down because of COVID. So, um, we went over to her house and I have been doing the fasting thing, right? So, I was like, you know what? It's the very last day of the year. I'm going to, I've been doing really good. So, I'm going to let myself eat some stuff. So, they had veggie pinwheels, which were the bomb. They had barbecue weenies, which tasted really weird. I, I, and it's, I know it's my taste buds because I tried to take a drink of a Pepsi. And it was just the fizz and the sugar. It was just, I guess where I've just been putting green juice into my body. You know, it's, it's definitely making a change. It's definitely changing my taste buds. So, uh... And, of course, old habits aren't dead yet because she had chips and buffalo dip that I just kept getting a chip and dipping it. And she said to me, she's like, you know what? All the work that you're going to do and stuff, you can have one last hurrah before you, you know, go full force in the diet, exercise, losing the weight. So, I was like, okay. So, I let myself splurge a little bit and I ate a little bit. And then my belly, like, like, it sat really, really hard on my belly. And I'm like, oh, so, like, I didn't get sick or anything, but I did have some belly trouble. And I think today is, you know, going to be, I don't know, a very, very good thing. Because I'm going to try to do just straight water. So I've been researching on, you know, what is acceptable in a fast. And uh, so I'm going to, first thing in the morning, <clears throat> excuse me, first thing in the mornings, I'm going to start drinking one cup of black coffee. And then throughout the day, I'm going to have like water, electrolyte water, which is a little packet of just electrolytes poured into a bottle of water and water so those are going to be what i have today so i'm going to try one day and see how my body reacts because the last time i tried it i almost died like it was really really bad so anyways i'm going to try to do uh see how long i can go on the coffee electrolyte water and water okay and uh so i'm not going to be doing the juice I'm trying to reset my body, but it was too much of a shock to do it all at once. So then I was juicing. So now my body's kind of used to that. And uh, so I think I did it for like four or five days of just juice, no food. Or I had like tofu one day and then, uh, yeah. So anyways, uh, just a little, it, when I ate, it was just a very little bit just to kind of 
soothe my body. So I tried to stick to, you know, plant-based protein or, um, you know, so anyways, I'm going to, my goal in the fasting thing is to fast a water fast, which would be the water, the coffee, and the electrolyte water for two weeks. So if I start today and I get through today and then I get through tomorrow and I keep, you know, I, I'm doing good with it, you know, Monday, Tuesday, then my 14 days will start today. Uh, if my body doesn't uh, cooperate and like, you know, tolerate it well, then I'll go back to some juicing, you know, a little bit of tofu uh, to kind of get me to a point where I can. I have several health problems. But I know that God is the ultimate healer. And what is his medicine? The food, you know? So don't eat processed food. Don't eat sugar on sugar, you know? Like a donut is just, it's sugar on sugar. And your body just, it wasn't made to handle that. And for 36 years, that is what I've been eating. Crap. So I am doing what I got to do to switch that because I'm telling you, and it's been emotional. Like the, I get really emotional at night. Like, I don't know if it's just because I'm not eating and, or I'm not taking my meds or, you know, I'm not taking any meds. So, uh, it's been a, it's been a roller coaster. but my goal in this is to fast and reset my body. And then when I start introducing food back, I'm going to do uh, almost a vegan diet. So I'm going to do all of my fruits and vegetables. And then I'm going to do nuts and seeds and uh, lentils like bean, like black beans, lentils, quinoa, uh, chia seeds. Uh, so I've been looking up different recipes to do, you know, but I'm going to do like the two weeks. If I can go the two weeks fasting with a water fast then I'm going to do like a pureed smoothie type of thing which it's not going to have anything in it other than fruits and vegetables so I'm going to juice the vegetables and then the fruits like berries and uh, bananas and strawberries stuff like that then I'm just going to put into the juice and puree it up so I'll you know like um, juice a, you know two carrots and then like juice an orange and you know put some turmeric in there and then maybe put some strawberries in it or a half a banana or uh, a little handful of blackberries uh, or something so I can get that ex you know so it's introducing the actual fiber the actual food back into my body because <clears throat> I'm telling you last night when I ate that food after I haven't ate in like hardly anything in you know five days or so it was definitely like oh on my belly so so I just wanted to uh, kind of talk about all that and all right I'll see you in the next video so it is New Year's it's January 1st 2022 and I've been trying to lose weight for about two months now uh, I am going to take a video of what my body looks like. I'm not really excited about this because I really don't like the way my body looks. Uh, so, but 2022 is going to be the year that I change that. This is not, this is not who I am. And I'm going to turn the camera around so you can see me. Closer. So, I don't know if it's doing good, so I'll just kind of move the camera back and forth slowly so you can maybe see it. And then, yeah. See this? I don't like this. But Monday, 
I'm going to get a gym membership and start working out. Try to tone some stuff up, like all the saggy belly skin. And so, so that is what I'm starting. Well, not starting, but that's where I've gotten to. Um, I did pictures at the very beginning of when I started, so I'll try to figure out how to add them into, you know, a video or a movie or something when I decide to, you know, put my journey on out there or whatever. Uh, so God bless. Happy New Year's.